I am with one of my favorite fathers on Facebook and in comedy circuit probably but mostly Facebook because that's where he keeps posting his son's pictures. One of the cutest babies I've seen in the last one and a half years. Please welcome Saurabh Pant. Hello. Hi, good evening. What's up? All good. I, I like how uh, this is what happens. I post up photographs of myself and yes. people are like, who cares? <laughs> When I put up a photograph of my son, they're like, he's lucky. But he and is. And 7,000 likes. Yeah. And my photograph gets minus 6,800. My yeah. Facebook created a new app just for people to dislike my photos. <laughs> but what do we do? Your son is probably the cutest thing on, on anybody's. So Let's, it's yeah, okay. his mother's looks. Yeah. And my personality. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to play this fun rapid fire thing. Sure. So this is something that we're going to do that his son Vikram Aditya Pant is going to see 20 years from now because that's Why what 20? he wants. You can see it in like 11. Okay, in 11 years from now because he wants to know these fun facts about his dad. Okay. Yeah. There we go. What was your favorite toy as a kid? Um, Hot Wheels. Who was your best friend in elementary school? My yeah. best friend was probably Gaurav Malhotra. Okay. Is and he still he your in, best friend? Uh, I mean, he's one of my very close friends, but okay. like, I mean, not my best friend. And he used to color his goatee green in color. Okay. It was great. It used to look like a plant was photosynthesizing on his chin. Who's Amazing your best guy. friend now? Uh, my best friend, and I have five best friends. Okay. Who are My they? son. Okay. My wife's okay. child. Okay. Um, my uh, sister's nephew. Okay. Um, and Vikram Aditya Pant. And? <laughs> And the that's guy who came out of my pants. Okay, that's it. In 2016, those are his five friends. <laughs> Did you have any pets growing up? I had a turtle. Okay. Uh, and they what was got the, name? Uh, the turtle was grumpy and jumpy, okay. and and one was called angry or whatever. Hercules. Okay. okay. And all of them got eaten by crows, and I didn't know that. And my mom replaced one of the turtles without letting me know the exact same turtle. Wow. And then we released them into the sea because you shouldn't keep turtles in your house. Okay. And then we have lovebirds, okay. which I also released. Okay. And then somebody told me that the wings were clipped, so they were eaten by crows again. Damn you, crows! Eating my pets! What was your favorite movie or book when you were my age? Uh, Which is like 15 years younger than you. <laughs> but uh, no, this will be for you know Vikram Aditya when he is like 10. When he's 10? Yeah. Do you genuinely know my favorite movie when I was yeah. 10? It was Ghayal. Sunny Deol's Ghayal was a movie which I saw repeatedly as a 10 year old. I am not joking. Okay. That was the only VHS we had in my house. So for me, the most, uh, the cutest thing I saw were hairy biceps beating up uh, whoever the villain was. I've even forgotten. I know Raj Babur was his brother, but okay. Ghayal was my never-ending story. Okay, it was my jungle book. Book? Uh, book anything by Enid Blyton. Very good. I used to love Enid Blyton. Good answer. I especially Mallory, Mallory Towers, yeah. which as a man, I feel proud that I used to read Mallory Towers and Twins at St. Clair's. That was what I read as a baby. All right then. Or 10 years old, whatever. Okay. I'm a very manly guy. Sure. Wait, one end I read Ghayal and the other end I read Enid Blyton, Mallory Towers. This no, so is my life. That's a nice balance, isn't it? It is. That's yeah. why I'm a balance. I'm, I'm yin and yang inside myself. I'm, <laughs> inside I'm <your> yang. <clears throat> okay. What are some of your favorite childhood holiday memories? Uh, I think we went to Goa once where we were staying in a four star and I'm like, my God, what is this place? It has a buffet. What is this, Papa? And he's like, Kuch bhi sakte I'm like, ah! Aise din ki. Ye to ghar jaisa ho gaya, papa. <laughs> so that was, I loved it. No, but we actually also went to France. Uh, my okay. parents took me to France when I was eight or nine years old. Mm -hmm. And my only memory was that we went to eat eel. Okay. And uh, nobody wanted to eat eel because it's disgusting. And my uh, dad was like, abhi khari da, abhi sabko khana padega. So, <laughs> so, and nobody volunteered and my dad had to eat the eel by himself just to prove a point to us. <laughs> so, that okay. was great. But the France thing was amazing. Okay. I remember a French girl, little girl played with me and I was like, wow, I'm so cute. <laughs> At 8 he thought that, yeah. definitely. You're 10 Vikram Aditya, it's alright then. It's happening, yeah. yeah. Okay, what were your favourite hobbies when you were his age at 10? His age at 10 means what? I mean, you know, at 10 what were your favourite hobbies? Oh, at 10 my favourite hobbies. Yeah. Uh, I think I, uh, I used to play cricket and stuff for that. I started playing cricket when I was very young. Okay. And uh, I used to love just running around and I used to climb anything. I was like Brand Stark, but I never fell. Okay. Um, and I used to go to sleep under random places. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what I did. What do you mean sleep under random places? My, my parents would just be like, I'd first I'd be scampering about like a lunatic, and okay. then the next thing they'd know, they'd be looking for me everywhere, and I, I was be sleeping at random places. Honest once I went to sleep because I went under a bed, and I was sleeping under the bed for no reason. Then once my parents were looking for me for four hours, and I was sleeping inside somebody's jeep because they'd left the door open. Then once another time, I was sleeping. I don't know what I used to do. I mean, that was really? the last time I was sleeping with anyone. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a pilot okay. because that's one one Jyotish told my mom I'd be. And look <laughs> and at me now. <laughs> and I'm you like, just assume you're going to be a pilot. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a pilot. I didn't even know what it like involved. And then very quickly, my mom realized that I'm not going to be a pilot. Like, I think I was so horrible at science that there's no possibility of me doing even 12th in science. So I thought I was going to be a pilot because somebody told me. And then look at me now. Yeah. I'm a pilot. Yeah. Because I'm very good at science. 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 Yeah. Because I'm I don't have a specific food. I eat everything. All right. Because my mom is a very experimental cook. She'd make anything. She made one spalak ice cream, I think, or some. I don't know what it was. Anything would happen in the house. Okay. So right, right now, if I go to a restaurant, I just order the weirdest stuff. I'm like, "Oh, yeah. chaddi ki biryani le aao." Like anything. I'll I'll eat the most experimental food. That's nice. Yeah. Who were your childhood heroes? Ah, uh, Sunny Deol. I've mentioned this before, and yes. I'm serious. He was a hero. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He was a hero. He was also your hero. He was my hero. Yeah. I was so amazed by Sunny Deol. I thought he was genuinely Sunny like. Sunny Deol. Hmm. All right. <laughs> You're very creepy for talking like that to a ten-year-old me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was like, he was genuinely amazing. Like, mm. I, I loved everything about Sunny Deol. Okay. He was in a banyan for no reason. I never, I never even questioned why this guy suddenly in a banyan for so long. <laughs> He's just roaming around in a banyan through the streets of the city, wearing a banyan and jeans. Who does that? And I'm like, Sunny what Deol. a guy. What an amazing fellow. Yeah. I love Sunny Deol. He's my hero. He was my hero till like last year. And what happened then? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <He> became old. <laughs> what family traditions do you want to pass on to him? <clears throat> uh, my 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 family is usually like a very take it as it comes kind of thing. Like hmm. we plan nothing. Okay. We just land up and things happen to us. And I love that. Where it's like that's generally the family attitude. So my wife hates it because she and her mother are very precise planned. Okay. And my family is is like, ha. परसों हम लोग फिनलैंड जा रहे हैं लाइक एनी नॉनसेंस विल हैपन सो आई आई लाइक दैट पार्ट ऑफ आई लाइक द कम्प्लीटली इम्प्रॉफ प्लान थिंग सो या आई वॉन्ट हेम टू बी एज एडवेंचर एन एन सेन इज दैट सो जस्ट डू एनी थिंग एट द ड्रॉप ऑफ अट That's lovely. We go to Finland right now. All right. I don't know why Finland is the place, but yeah. I have no idea, but yeah, yeah probably in subconscious. Yeah. Okay. So your final message to Vikram Aditya, who's ten right now. Ah, uh, Vikram Aditya, as a ten-year-old, why are you watching news? You should be watching Dora the Explorer. Ah, uh, this is the wrong channel. Please change. Ah, uh, go and watch something better, like for childhood viewing. Like, um, uh, FTV is very nice, I believe, for children. Ah, uh, check out FTV. Um, uh, there's some good programming also on like, uh, uh, <laughs> Animal Planet. Just animals tearing each other apart. Just please watch that. It'll teach you about life. Uh, don't watch this. Uh, go watch my YouTube videos because I need the hits, and that's how you're making money is through that stuff. But uh, look, man, I'm going to tell you this. I don't know why I'm saying, hey, man, what's up, bro? Uh, but uh, this is the thing which I want to tell any okay. Indian parents out there. It's like I don't understand the stuff of telling kids that you can have to be an engineer or a doctor. Like I want my son to be happy. That's you. Just be happy. It's so basically what I'm trying to say is, can you get out of the house? Yeah. As a ten-year-old, that's it. Earn your own living. Yeah. Okay. Enough. Already. <laughs> Grow up. Okay. It's ten. How long are you going to be subsisting? This is not a socialist family. <laughs> And that's all of fun for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. What a lovely Father's Day message <laughs> for a ten-year-old son. <laughs> no, I love my son. He's amazing. Yes, yeah. He's, we we, we he's gathered awesome. that. Yeah. yeah. We gathered that. That's all right. Yeah. yeah. He he knows. Okay. As long as he knows, <laughs> that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>